New tonight at 11, a daycare targeted by burglars, and now some parents think that facility needs to upgrade their security. Now, this all happened at Kinder Care on 62nd Street on our city's northeast side. That's where we find our Emily Longnecker, who tells us tonight what the thieves got away with. Emily? Well, Andrea and Scott, it was through a back window. That's how the folks here at Kinder Care Education Center think someone got into their facility this past weekend. Once they did, it would appear they made their way straight to the main office where there were 15 new iPads charging. Those 15 new iPads gone. A desk in the main office also ransacked. The rest of the facility untouched. This according to a police report made by employees who discovered the break-in early Monday morning. They didn't tell me, no. Um, I, I'm not particularly worried about it. Parents picking up their kids Monday afternoon had mixed reactions. I really was just notified right now, so I haven't really had a chance to like talk to anybody about it or find out anything. But According to a police report, the daycare doesn't have security cameras or an alarm system. Oh, I feel like that they definitely should get at least some cameras and around the facility and maybe inside the facility as well. A corporate spokesperson for Kinder Care issued a statement which said, unfortunately over the weekend, someone broke into our East 62nd Kinder Care Center. We immediately reported the incident to local police this morning and will continue to work closely with them as they investigate the matter. And according to the police report, whoever broke in got out a side door and then over a gated fence. And according to that same police report, the daycare center had been posting on social media that they had gotten these 15 new iPads. So a lot of folks knew that the facility had these new devices. So can police track them down? Well, who knows? We know that the kinder care employees are working on getting the serial numbers to police of all these iPads. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Emily, thank you.